Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, you're you, and this is Itmar's Civilization 3. Couldn't swing the diplomatic vote, there's the peace deal. Yeah, if we made the vote now, I'm fairly certain India would win. Oh, maybe not. Fren the French probably wouldn't uh, forgive him for owning half their territory. Probably. I mean, the Byzantines certainly won't forgive us. But yeah, France and the Byzantines might uh, vote for... France might vote for me and the Byzantines might vote for India. So India is now pretty much in the money situation. Again, this is what we uh, always see in Civ. There's always one Civ on the other continent that's going to do exactly the same that I do. And the other AI is just cave. And get destroyed. Happens every single time. At, at least, I mean, that's mostly because every single time I do try to conquer my own continent. I don't know. I wonder how the game would wor work if I did not try to conquer this much landmass. I mean, if I'd stalled here and just uh, kept my northern realm, which honestly would have been enough. Didn't need to go and wipe out everyone south of me. I just want to do. I just want to do. Anyways, we'll keep tacking. Oh, that Polish after is yeah, that's gonna be difficult to see. I need to remember need to remember that it actually is there. So three pollution spots so far. No bombers. No bombers ever. <laughs> uh. More pollution so far. No bombers. Cathedral is the only thing left. There we go. Okay, four bits of pollution. Let's get out there. Let's get one with, Kuz with Kuzco first because that's so hard to spot. Okay. One down. Uh, that's gonna require more workers. Maybe this one first. I thought I told you all to go here. There we go. Okay, that's those. We had a team in the north somewhere. Focus on Had, apparently. Um. Okay, where did I park the workers? I know I have more workers than this. Don't I? Oh well, nothing else to do but to start out, I guess. Uh, at least two workers that I can't really do anything with. Send you out here. That's one worker shy of actually being able to deal with that one, but okay. It's fine. We'll deal with the, those pollution bits next turn. There's the laser, which opens up one other bit. No bombers! <laughs> Why do you want to build bombers all the time? Uh, can the city grow at all? It can actually. At least with the dock, uh, with the harbor set up. There's no real growth potential here. Sad thing. I mean, the quickest way to grow, grow a city like this is to have another city build workers and just uh, ship them over and uh, joining the city. By far the fastest way to grow it. 
Anyways, bring them over here, finish this one. And you can all chill out on that square. And you can head south and clear the other pollution. There we go. And that'll do. Oh yeah. New spaceship bit. One I can build. So in four turns we'll have robotics, which means we have all the techs. Um, Gandhi can, can build nukes, but not ICBMs. I'm just wondering, should I hold off on trying to trade uranium? Until we have this thing, until we have the <laughs> integrated defense. You know, just in case. In case Gandhi wants to uh, live up to his reputation. Well, I'm fairly certain he's the only one with uranium now. Yeah, I don't think France has anything. I don't think the Byzantines have anything. Gandhi has a monopoly on uranium. Which is more than a little scary. But he still hasn't gotten past the... Uh, the era. I mean, no matter what Gandhi does, we can outproduce him at this point, so... And also, we can outfinance him. By quite the margin. Despite its sieve being pretty darn big at this point, it is also war torn. Yeah. Need robotics and uranium. Need uranium. But look at that, we almost built the whole ship. Starvation. Well, that was expected. Uh, yeah. That's okay. We're gonna have some uh, boom bust cycles. I could try to prevent that by building workers and exporting those people to other cities, but you know, that's a heck of a lot of micromanagement. Especially for this late in the game. No bombers! <laughs> I mean, as soon as I build a stealth bomber, I want to build those instead, so. At that point, we don't want a bomber request anymore. I suppose. Okay, that's robotics, which unlocks the last bit. Also, it unlocks... Uh, the MFG plant, which you can't build. And the stasis, stasis chamber also requires uranium. So... <laughs> okay, the Indians just got nukes. Okay, so I don't have to trade techs with them. They figured it out on their own. Uh, I suppose that's a good thing. They have to get the Manhattan Project before they can nuke me. But yeah, they are the only ones with nu nuclear cap capabilities. And that is uh, just a tiny bit scary. You're starving. Ah, there we go. Okay, make all these guys, move them to that side, please. Here are that pollution. Oh, anyone who's not asleep back here. There we go, okay. So, Gandhi. Do we think India would trade me uranium for anything? Yes, it's modern portrait now. He is polite. So it's not impossible, I suspect. 
Yeah, he has 5 extra uranium. Uh, what may I trade you for uranium? Advanced flight and amphibious war. I mean, he can't break this treaty for five for uh, ten turns, I believe. Yeah, it lasts for twenty turns. You accept. For no other reason that that's gonna assure our victory. So if the AI had been human, he would not have done that at all, I think. Anyways, and I can also beat them, beat him to the Manhattan Project if I wanted to. I forgot, do we, do we win this game? In Sifty, do we win on launch of the spaceship or when it arrives? I guess we're gonna build this one first. Fuel cells. Pity I can't make these farmers. <laughs> that would be much better. So I could, if I could make up farmers, I could just balance out the food budget and stop the boom bust cycle because now they're gonna, the city's gonna starve. By the way, uh, where's the uh, which which F key is it again? F11. Well, no. One of these. Uh, there it is. Okay. Just want to see the greatest cities. So all the greatest cities are Indian. Despite having no wonders or anything like that. And my cities are bigger than these. I think. No, they're not. Size 27. How do you swing a size 27 city? Oh, okay, never mind. So yeah, he's uh, switched over his focus instead of a whole bunch of mines, he's, he now has a whole bunch of farms. Which is pretty much what you should do, to be honest. If I unleash these as automated workers, they'd probably farm up all the mines now. Probably, because now, I, now the uh, cities kind of, are kind of unleashed in that regard. Anyways, kind of cr I'm kind of cranky about that since the wonders don't count as much as population apparently. And in five turns we'll have all the spaceship bits. Oh boy. India at war again. Now it's just declaring war for the sake of declaring war I think, because I don't think India can really do an overseas landing all the way down here. Well, I, that's not true. They can. But I don't think they're going to be able to do that efficiently. No bombers! <laughs> no nuclear plants either. No MFG plants. Uh, yeah. Just pull those and into wealth. And uh, let's uh, not elect anyone. I only had one pollution, right? Looks like it, yes. There we go. I mean, then again, India might have a navy now that's strong enough to take a city. By, uh... Coastal attack, we'll see. Oh my! We actually have civil unrest. I think that's because you don't have a marketplace. Yes, that's why. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cope with that. Did you get a hospital? He did go to hospitals. This is going to be a recurring problem until I can get that marketplace online. It's been a while since we had civil unrest. 
I mean, as soon as the city has a marketplace now, they're gonna be happy forever. Okay. There we go. Two turns into Beijing, finished this last component. Don't build bombers. Ugh. <laughs> Why? Okay, so is that two pollution fields? Yeah, okay, so we need a three pollution actually. Okay, that's five units. Okay, this one. There we go. Fully cleared. Yeah, I mean, if they, if they concentrate enough destroyers, they might just take a city. Get a foothold. Ah, pollution right there. Go for that. There's also pollution on that mountain. I didn't miss, I missed that one. And there's pollution here. Oh my. Wait, six workers weren't enough? Really? Okay. There we go. When was this one? I suppose mountains are even more rugged, so it takes even longer to clear the pollution. Even without industrial save, there we go. Now it should be pollution free. Yeah. And the last bit is going up into the last bit from us for our spaceship. It's about to be built. You're gonna die? Yeah. Did he... Did he take us... Did, did he take that city with a submarine? It looked like it did. That, or it was a uh, Byzantine submarine. Anyways, spaceship is good to go. Um, before you do, I want to just... Uh, can, I, can I not launch? Wait, you don't have spies, I can't actually see the other guy's uh, progress. And apparently we're not allowed to exit this... Uh, Okay, so I'm forced to launch. That's okay, fine. I do apologize for the incredibly loud volume there, but, you know, not normalized. Sounds not normalized. Also, that was kind of weird, because um, on my screen the image was stretched, but I saw that on the uh, OBS screen. 
it wasn't stretched, so hopefully it was uh, still normal. Uh, hopefully the video wasn't distorted for you guys. You know, these are these fun things happen. Anyways, space race victory. Uh. <laughs> and they're all gonna be cranky. They all have the beat up faces. <laughs> Well, at least the ones that have uh, been defeated or destroyed. The others are just unhappy. There was no need to eliminate me! <laughs> uh. Yeah, they're not... Uh... That's the thing. Here's the thing, when you don't win the diplomatic victory, they're always going to be cranky at you. If you win the diplomatic victory, they're going to be a bit different. I wonder how you'd be able to get that done though, the diplomatic victory. You'd have to give them tech all the time, make them happy, give them so many gifts. And just to make sure that they are they, they are they are fighting the other other opponent, I suppose. I don't know. Anyways, that's that, I guess. I suppose we'll still see some uh, statistics if I click the X button. There yeah, we can see the uh, playthrough. We can use the power graph. Let's play. Or there we go. Yeah, this was fun. <laughs> I mean, I made a whole bunch of messes, a whole bunch of mistakes. I know. Okay, that works. Yep. All in all, I'm kind of happy with our starting position. We had this whole hinterland here. We had nothing like what uh, the uh, the uh, Ottomans had. But most of that was on islands, which is kind of annoying. We, were all, we also had this vast desert here, which really shielded us from forward setting by the AIs. And the fact that the Zulus went to war with the Incas pretty early also helped us. City of Seville. That's rather annoying. <laughs> Not the end of the world, though. Now the uh, Indians and the French started pretty darn close. We didn't start that far off from the uh, Spanish, uh, also, but still. Oh, the Inca got a great leader. But we didn't. Boo! Did I ever see an Incan army? I don't think I did. If I did, I don't recall it. Still. Yeah, so that was when they actually went out to sea. the business in golden age, good for them. And this is when we started fighting the um, Spanish. The business went across to the this little island very, very early. They settled down there, didn't they? Didn't capture. Yeah. Well, 
But look at the patchwork that become that uh, the uh, on the continent became. There we go. That's the end of uh, the Zulu. I think the Spanish are gone. So now it becomes a bit of a consolidation time for me. Before we push towards the Inca. Also, nobody pay attention to that uh, northern part of this map. We're not going to lose the city at all. <laughs> no, no. Not going to lose the city. Ganges? It's a city? I thought the Ganges was a river. I think we're gonna run this final episode a little bit long. Just to, uh, just to get the full summary replay. And I, for the most part, I just want to see if this city down here is lost. <laughs> I saw a submarine sail into it. I can see it on the minimap too, I suppose. But I can't actually tell if it's been captured or not. I don't know if you can... You can capture cities with sea units, can't you? But can you capture, capture them with submarines? Oh, there we go. That's a, a rather annoying loss. For like three seconds. Yeah, Ningpo switched hands for a little bit of time. Very annoying. That was my own mistake, because I, I did see that, that coming. I did see the transports move up the shore and I just didn't move units in to defend. Yeah, there we go. A great event for India, producer leader. What? A great event? I thought they would only spawn by battle. Huh. So India got so the uh, the Incas got a great leader, the Indians got a great leader. We didn't. Still, we learn a couple of things in this playthrough. It is actually possible to transfer transfer production by disbanding military units in the target city. I wish I'd noticed that much sooner than I did, because that meant if I had, we could have gotten the um, Forbidden Palace up. So much faster. Oh well. Anyways, that's the end of my con conquering and by the looks of things. And now we're gonna see uh, I'm gonna see India go go ape. There we go, a great event for the Ottomans produced the leader. Who? For the Ottomans again? They got two leaders all, almost immediately. Sheesh. Still didn't help them. They still got wiped out. Yeah, so at the time I more or less destroyed the Byzantines, that's where things uh, kicked into overdrive. India got another great leader. And look, looking at the power graph, that's pretty much where, where things kicked into overdrive and the AIs decided, okay, Strongest AI has to win everything else. And so India does. I guess they had way more battles than we did then, since they keep spawning leaders. We did have our number of battles, but apparently none of them were uh, impressive enough. Oh, the Indians actually run out of city names. New Bangalore, New Calcutta. And Marseille gets captured four times in a row. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, Marseille was quite the fighting grounds, apparently. Here goes Paris. It's very sad. Poor AI. Poor France. 
capture Porta, the destruction of Jabor. Um, did something happen to that city in the southern areas of the Byzantines? No. Okay, so that was a Byzantine sub then. Well then, that's good to know, I suppose. With culture, we were far behind for very mo for long for a long bit of time until about here. So I wonder if that could have been a trigger, actually. Was it? It could be. So when I finally outcompeted uh, Gandhi on culture, the uh, game decided, okay, I need to make Gandhi into a, a powerhouse so he can compete in other arenas as well. Kind of looks that way. I would not be surprised if the game has mechanics like that. And uh, okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see, uh, Graups. Four Indian cities are on the top four. Only one of them has a wonder. But I know I have cities with two and three wonders and stuff like that. And then, uh, kind of cranky about that. Oh, total numbers. 56% of the... Uh, what is that? 66%, yeah. We have... Well, no, actually, that's the, that's the requirements. Yeah, yeah. So we have 42% of the, in the area and... Uh, 59 of the population. Not too bad. And we were getting closer on the culture thing anyways. We wouldn't get gone into space. Uh-huh. Uh... That's just a graph, yeah, yeah. That's fine. We have almost, well, one and a half times the score of India. Power ranking. Yeah, all in all. All in all, a good game. History will remember you as. I oh, didn't quite make it. There's one step further, I believe. But Mao the Magnificent sounds good enough to me. <laughs> ah, so we didn't quite hit the big bell. Oh well. That's okay. That's okay. We still won. We still won. And that is all that matters. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this playthrough. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this whole mess. <laughs> all, all stomp through this whole game. It's been fun. Um, perhaps we'll revisit Civ 3 again sometime in the future. I don't know. Um, or we'll... Uh, Play some other one of the other saves. I don't know. We'll see what uh, what I uh, feel like playing and what you guys ask me to play, I suppose. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Um, hope to see you again in some other let's play, if nothing else. Have a good. Uh, so that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at finishing these things. Anyway, yes, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>